I want to thank God um, for this wonderful day. And thank uh, Pastor Tim for coming down. And uh, we'll call Pastor Tim up. There's always a, a saying in our church, be ready in season and out of season. And uh, in our church, we are taught to be ready. And uh, he's one of our mentors, my, one of my mentors. All my life in the Door of Faith Church, there was men that was ready, servingly ready. So, I'd like to introduce to you our, our wonderful pastor from the Kaneohe Door of Faith, Alex and Tim. 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 Jesus. 
Kupa'a, be firm, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Victory is ours. Yes. Victory is ours, hallelujah. Don't take nothing less than only what God has given, hallelujah. God is going to give us miracles, Amen. signs, and wonders. Trust in Him. In the last days, you're going to see things move. In the last days, you're going to see, hallelujah, our children and our children's children in the last days. Be blessed, church, today. God bless you guys. Oh, my left foot and uh, my, my this is Penny and Alan. I'll leave them on Alan, please. <laughs> uh, Pastor Tim's uh, left foot. I got a nickname for him 100%. Yeah. <laughs> um, my name's on the mission. It's focused. I want to thank God. Every time when I. Uh, uh, pastors that come to visit. It's a sabbatical, it's a rest, but it's a fellowship. And um, I thank God that in his rest he can do what he do, does so naturally he can, and inspire us. And I, I mean, I am inspired. Brother Alan, you have a word? Don't mind me. I just want to say I love you all. And uh, you see the glow on his face? He's a happy man. He's got his permanent date there. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, thank you for the visitation. Um, throughout our lives, um, we have heroes. And a lot of the heroes are um, not spoken of. And they're um, quiet heroes. And um, they move on with their lives. And I thank God because for me, uh, I'm, I'm one hero in my life. Uh, um, besides my mom and dad, and my wife, my family. Um, and I've seen this ministry move. And it's Hakudu, Jibi Du Bushel, and Grandma Du Bushel. And I asked Anna if she could um, uh, do an exhortation today. And you know, Anna, you kind of quiet. You ready? She's ready. And uh, she's going to come up and um, uh, do what her family's been. Her family's been doing for a hundred years. Uh, Anna, do what she'll tell you about. She'll come up and do an exhortation. Thank you, Father. Thank
If the Lord goes before us, He will be with us. He will not leave us or forsake us. Do not fear. In 2020, 2021, we went through stuff. Um, we had a whole bunch of sheep. We had a drought going on. We had a whole bunch of sheep. They died. Some died. We needed to move on. Then the dogs ate them. So we ended up with a small handful of sheep. After that, we had to deal with our cattle. As much as we tried hard to feed them, some died. And then we had to move them. And then the state, the um, government got involved and wanted to run tests on our cattle, finding TB in our cattle. So if you heard it on the news, that was ours. We had to slaughter all our cattle. And for me, that's part of my legacy. That is who we are. Um, and then from there, we went to Kansas in 2021, uh, seven of us. And um, we went on a 10-day vacation that turned into seven weeks. Our, one of um, our group, one of our group got um, COVID the day after we arrived. And she ended up having to go to the hospital. Um, so the next, that day when she was in the hospital, the rest of us six went out to do our testing and God said, God gave me a word and the word is faith. And so from that day on, I, I kept my faith. I trusted in God and believed that no matter what we're gonna go through, he's gonna bring us through. Amen. So sister got incubated, um, into the kit. And um, we only had enough money or finances for a 10 day vacation, but we had to stay there seven weeks. But God poured it upon people's heart to, to, um, to give us finances. He put people in our lives um, to help us with what we're going through. The whole time we were there, there was not one day that we had to worry about tomorrow. Because God brought us to the entire ordeal. Brought us all home safely, including Sister Omi. Today she's fine and well. Trust God. Know that the plans that He has for you is better. 